Lone Dome area. This is called Lone Dome, this beautiful yeah. rock formation here. This is one of the prettiest sections of the river, I think. Mm -hmm. and especially here in the fall time when everything's so gold and yellow. It's just mm -hmm. a gorgeous place. Also, in some of these, these riffles that we have in this part of the river, there will be some spawning browns. And we don't fish for the spawners, but a lot of the browns that are getting ready to spawn or that have finished spawning are very active fish. Uh -huh. They're big and strong, and uh, those are fish we might catch on dry mm -hmm. flies or on nymphs or streamers, too. Okay. And down here, without the betas hatches, we, we can fish with some different flies. We can fish with some, some trudes and wolves, attractors. Uh, caddis work real well, and terrestrials, too. Grasshoppers, uh -huh. ants, beetles, uh -huh. really a, a wide range of food choices down here. So it's a fun section of river. Yeah. But we have to fish pretty fast. Um, there aren't as many fish down here. They're not concentrated. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a concentrated hatch. So we have to search for fish mm -hmm. with the tractors. We'll fish pools like this very quickly. And then there's some deeper water downstream that I'll show you mm -hmm. where we might find some rising yeah. fish to caddis or betas. Mm -hmm. I hope we do. But we'll cover the water so. and just yeah. see what happens mm -hmm. today. This will be fun. OK. Yeah, yeah. Nice, Sato. Good fish? Yeah. Maybe 18? Excellent, excellent. On a catch? Oh. Yes, caddis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Classic. Oh, yeah. Look at that gorgeous fish. Yeah, beautiful. Ooh, that's a big fish. Well done. Oh. Woo. Oh, look at this beautiful fish. Easy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Nice brown. Yeah, that's oh, beautiful. Look at the yellow color of that yeah. fish. Spectacular. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the one we've been looking for. Look at that one. Oh, that's a seven, that's a, that's an eighteen-inch brown. Maybe. Oh. 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 Yeah, look at him go. Bye bye. Eco taxa on the net. Kanle Zensen no Tsuka ni tomonai, Tsioi Kazuga Fuite Kimashita. Koredeva, Beitis no Hatchimo no Zome Masen. We just have to be patient. These fish will rise. They'll rise at some point. They have to eat. Beitis are here. They'll rise. Sayak no Joken no Naka, John wa donna tayo o steiru no de shoka. Right there. Okay. この時ジョンが選んだのはミッキーフィンという古典的なストリーマーでした。これはかなり裏技的な選択です。Oh, yeah, beautiful. Thanks. Very nice. Great fit. Nice brown. Look at that nice. Look at the orange spot on his, on his fin back here, on his adipose fin. That's a nice looking fish. Beautiful orange spots. What a healthy, clean brown. That's about a 16 inch fish. Wants to go. Yeah. 
Look at that beautiful fish. God. Right? <laughs> no rise. Streamers. When they don't rise, fish a streamer. This is a Mickey fin. The marabou Mickey fin looks like a baby rainbow trout. The big browns getting ready to spawn this time of year are really aggressive and will attack flies that look like baby fish, especially from other species like the rainbow. We're really lucky to have a variety of of fishing here in southern Colorado, and we fish different rivers for different purposes. The Dolores is probably our favorite river of all because I think it's the most difficult river that we fish. We fish here basically only with dry flies. We can fish the other rivers with nymphs and streamers, but the Dolores is a dry fly fisherman's dream. It's a real dry fly fisherman's dream because the water is, is very low gradient and there are excellent insect hatches here, especially in the fall time. We have good betas and midge hatches which provide the most challenging of all dry fly situations for the dry fly fishermen. Also, the Dolores is one of the most beautiful rivers in the state of Colorado. I mean, the, the scenery here is just magnificent. The fall colors with the cottonwood trees and the oaks up on the hillsides, yellow leaves everywhere, and uh, red color in the hills too. It's really the most beautiful time to fish in southern Colorado, and especially down here in the Dolores. ドローレスリバーへのアクセスはコルテーズという町に滞在するのが便利でしょう古く小さな町ですが街道の分岐点にあたるために人の往来が意外に多くクオリティの高いモーテルがたくさんありますそのため宿や食事に困ることはまずありません Licenseはメインストリートに沿って両側にあるニケンのアウトフィッターで購入できます。どちらかというとハンティングのお店なのでフライフィッシングのアイテムはほとんど扱っていません。